the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, this is the Winlows, yeah. your favorite skit couple. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be having a very interesting conversation. And it's, and it's titled, fun. How Do I Know That He or She Really Loves Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is a question a lot of people are asking. They want to really know. Yes. Uh, they want to identify true love. They want mm -hmm. to know who really loves them. Yeah. They don't want to make a mistake. So true. that is what we're going to be diagnosing today. True. Stay back. And watch it. The Willow. So how do you know if a person really loves you? Mm. How did you know? Okay, I, I think for me the first point is that um, the person will create quality time for you. Mm, true. You I know, remember. quality time. <laughs> Not quantity, quality time. Quality time. Don't you know. start with quantity. <laughs> There's quantity but quality. Yeah, um, so what that means is that um, the person always wants to call you, to you, wants to talk yes, to you, yes. always wants to ask questions, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you, you sense um, quality um, communication, True. you know, in the relationship. That's, that's a word to mark there because, you see, there are two different kinds of people you can meet. Yes. And they can claim that they love you mm -hmm. and they can genuinely love you. Yeah. You know, a partner can genuinely love you. A parasite can claim to love you. That's true. That's the truth. Someone can actually want to get something from you but it's not real with you. Yeah. A person says, I love you. Yeah. Now, what am I trying to say when I say mark that word, quality time? Somebody can actually, a parasite can give a lot of time to you just to get to know you. Some people yeah. are patient. I uh, was English, please help me. They are patient deceivers. Yeah. yeah. They can actually be patient enough to get something from you by calling you just so you, they can stir up the feeling to you, but they do not genuinely love you. I, I, and, and I think mm. you you would know somebody that really loves you from the sincere conversation. That's why I said, Maki, my husband mentioned something yes. with quality time. Yes. The kind of conversation. Yes, you know, you. conversations yeah. that mm -hmm. um, just towards the person knowing you. True. You know, there are some conversations that can be so revealing. Maybe the mm. person wants to, um, is looking for a way to sleep with you. Yeah. And is always bringing conversations that has to do with sexual arousal yeah, and all the stuff, mm -hmm. you know. So you don't count that as a quality communication yeah, true, you true. know quality conversation means that it's about both of you the yeah. person wants to know about your purpose yes he cares about your well-being yes. he cares about your career yes. you know that's how you know somebody really cares about yes. you he's ready to give you quality mm -hmm. time true and that's why the conversations are going on what he's trying to say is that you must be observant yes observe the kind of questions observe how he's chatting yeah. how she's chatting because it's not just a man thing you know how she's chatting what is she what is she telling you does she is she doing it because she she noticed that you have money yeah. and she wants to get something from you and all of that so you need to observe that's the truth you know and also the assignments yeah um, yeah I, I i you know i usually say that um, if somebody really loves you it will create time for you yes and many a times, a lot of ladies or sometimes guys usually give excuses when mm -hmm. somebody don't create time for them. Sure. Like they say the guy is busy, mm -hmm. you know, he's working um, long um, um, offshore, offshore yeah. you know, mm -hmm. he's a medical doctor, mm -hmm. so he doesn't have time. You know, the truth is this. A person who loves you will always create time create for you. Create is the word. Create. You know, mm. 24 hours is enough for somebody to just create 30 minutes just to talk true, to you. True, true. You know, so when somebody is not talking to you in three days mm -hmm. or in two days, or when you call the person, the person says, um, can I get back to you? Can I get back to you? And yeah. he never gets, gets back, back to, to you. Yeah. The person truly doesn't love you. Mm -hmm. Can you just read the signal? True. You know, the person truly doesn't love you. There's nobody that is selfish with time. It's just that they don't take you as priority. That's true. If somebody yeah. prioritizes you, the person truly will create time, time for, for you. you. Yeah, true. So the word is create time. Yes. So I may not have the time, but because I love this person, I will inconvenience myself for the person. Because love is not convenient. Yeah. If you love someone, you, you, I mean, you want to create time for the person. It wasn't convenient for Jesus to die for us. That's true. But he had to. That's true. That's like when truth. I was dating my wife, I was always creating, you know, um, uh, those days, was if a uh, line they call magic number. Ah, my husband, you used the chat. Yes, yes, tried yes, for you. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we are going to, we talk all through the night. All We're just true. talking, just gisting. Uh, uh, honestly, that's, that's when I knew that this guy was in love with me. Yes, I'm uh, telling uh, you. Every you know, night, night calls. Was and she else. herself, too, when she was at work, because she yes. was busy, she was an accountant, mm -hmm. you know, she would create time to want to talk to me. She yes. wants to hear my voice. Yes. Like, I was a Lord and personal savior. Uh -uh. 
<laughs> you know, you know. So the person definitely will create time for you, no matter yes. how busy the person is. True. So number two, mm -hmm. how do you know a person who loves you? This person will not want to make your relationship secret. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. You and, know. Yes, because um, some people don't get it. Like I've I've been privileged to meet a number of persons who say, you know what, we want to keep it low. We don't want anybody to know about it and all of that. Now there's a difference between secret and private. Yeah. Now, um, you can actually decide not to make your relationship public by posting on social media, by letting the whole world know, probably you're in church, you don't want members to know about it, and love things. But you, you see, you can actually make the people who you trust around yes. you, for example, your mentor, yes. your pastor, yes. your close family friends, yes. you know, your close family members, they can know about it. That's they what should they should know, know about, about it. it. That's the truth. Because yes. accountability is responsibility. That's, That's true. the truth. So if you are accountable, it shows a fruit of responsibility. That's true. I'll be responsible towards this person. I'm a responsible person. So even though you don't want to make the whole world know about it, it's okay to say, I'm not going to post pictures. Mm. When talk about it but your pastor your family member a close friend yeah. should know about it must be somebody you should be able to talk to should be able to draw wisdom from so That's it's true. very expedient that close people you trust should know about it because of accountability yeah yeah relationship is not a secret court affair yeah that's true it's not that's so true and, and and many times when um mm -hmm. when a guy wants to play with a lady you know the first thing he does is try to make her feel that um, yes. you know you don't need to tell anybody yes. you don't need to you know, mm -hmm. and other stuff, so that when he's done with um, the victim, he can easily just run away. Yes. But when he knows that um, people are aware, he's very careful how he or she deals with you. True. You know, so it's important, you know, that is one sign you know that the person loves you. The person mm -hmm. is ready to tell his spiritual mentor, is ready to tell um, his close friends, you know, mm -hmm. about you. I'm and he's you. not ashamed to ashamed. introduce you oh, yes. to their friends. I'm telling you, like when my husband, you know, I want to say he was in love, but he's still in love with me. No, it's not about yeah. when your husband, you're always talking about when my husband, when you were in no, love with me, you, 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 <laughs> you wanted to show me to everybody, you know. <laughs> <It's> not, no. <laughs> Did they ask you out, you called your pastor, you told your pastor, yes, true. you know, you told your friends, <laughs> you just told them about me. Yeah, you and know. it was the same thing he did, so. Yes, I mean, yes, when we were yes, together, yes. he's always like, in fact, one of his close friends called me at the early stage, making my just say yes, like, oh, wow, yeah. you're going on my friend. Yeah, she told her mom yes. as well, so, you know, they were just this circle yes. of people that were aware. So the, the entire church wasn't aware, yes. you know, it wasn't like a public affair, yes. but... We didn't post pictures. Yes, but there were these people mm. who we trusted that were aware yes, of our, our relationship. relationship. So it's church. important. It's very important. You know, it's important. Try as much as possible to avoid secret relationship, relationship. because it's mm. not a secret cult. Yeah, not a secret cult. It's true. So number three, how do I know if a person really loves me? Yeah. He or she you wants water your potential. Yeah, he or she waters your potential. And not weed it. And not weed it. <laughs> so he or she waters your potential yeah. and not weed it. Yes. You know, when I met my husband, one of the signs, one of the fruits that I knew that this one was in love with me, he was in love with me, was when we just started going out, he always asked me, What do you want to be? You know, um, um, who is only, you know, um, um, what do you want to see? What do you want to see grow out of you into yeah. so and so years? And he will always be there. He will give me, I mean, in line with my purpose, he will send me books. He will tell me to research, watch this. He will send me links, videos. You know, he was always interested in growing me. Yeah. You know, that's the truth. And that's, I mean, that's, it's so clear in scripture. I think Paul planted Apollo's water. water. That's the truth. Yeah. So you always need this. God has already planted potentials in every, in every person. You need a partner that will water it, not yeah. weed it. So you need, so that, that's why Apollos was a partner to Paul. So you need that's a person that can water your vision, mm. water where you're going to, water your dream and all of that. And that's something my husband will always do. I mean, when I go out, you know, because if you don't have, if the person is not watering your potential, watering your journey to your destiny, the truth is you will not be able to strike conversation with the that's person. True. There's nothing you're actually really doing. Because sometimes the person who actually supports you, that is a support system to what you are doing, creates an environment for better companionship. That's true. So if the person is not, he's just weeding out, you won't find it. I mean, you won't find a safe ground to always communicate with the person. There's That's no true. need for the communication. Yeah. So my husband will always check on me. He's not, he will always ask me questions.
questions you get when i finish presenting or i go somewhere to speak i belong to a ministry back then you know i finish talking i'll come back to him say oh can you did you tell somebody to do video for i'll send it to him he would criticize he would say okay this is what you should do better yeah. you know he was very interested in growing me that's yeah i mean that's how you know somebody's in love love grows so if you're with that guy mm. and he has only invested sex in you and not <laughs> sense mm. then you should, you My should, God, you that's should, a rema then. You should, you should run from I'm him. I'm telling you. You know, sex withdraws from you. Mm. Sense add values to you. Mm. Sex outside you marriage. You know, many oh. times, a lot of you, all you're just interested in is sex, sex, mm. sex, sex, and mm. all the stuff. And you have been in the relationship for three years, mm. and there's nothing valuable you have gotten from the relationship. Mm. Then that person is not serious with true, you. True, true. The person that loves you will want to groom you. That's why a man is called a bridegroom. And that's why a woman is called a helper. A helper, mm. you know. So you must be able to see a bridegroom or a help meet from mm. this person mm. you know Very so true. it's important so mark the line if he's giving sex and not giving sense is not serious mm. you know so go for somebody that can give value to mm. your life mm. Mm. Ah, god man if he's giving sex but not giving sense mm. it's not valuable mm. wow that's the line there yeah that's why i'm really teaching you something <laughs> <laughs> the way how do you know a person who loves you, he or she compliments you and don't... Compare. Don't compare. Yeah. He or she compliments you and don't compete. Mm. You know, so that is very important. Yes. Does this person compliment you? Does this person love you? Mm. You know, does the person value what you put on the table? Mm. Or is this person always comparing you? Yeah. Saying statements like, I don't know why you are short. Can yes. you can you can you hard a little? I don't know. Um your I, I like you sharp, but your booms look so small, mm. you know, or your backs side yes. is is not big enough mm -hmm. uh, I, is there something we can do the person really doesn't love you yes. i love you but you are fair mm. i love you but you are dark can you do I, something? I, I love you but i don't know i'm going to kiss you in my because you have open teeth i don't like girls yes. that have yeah. open teeth Gun you know I, I i i i <laughs> 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 you know, you know, the person just keeps comparing you, yes. and the, uh, especially when he keeps comparing you to his or her ex. Yeah, you know that becomes a problem. Other the people person around, not necessarily ex. Or yes. people around, around the person yes. really doesn't love you. True, he compares you with your pastor's wife. Oh. You know, I say, ah, your, your, don't you, you see, see your pastor's yes. wife? No, the I pastor's see. wife mm -hmm. loves pastor. Are you in their house? True, true. You true, know? True. So, so, so the point is this. The person must value you for who you are mm -hmm. rather than compete, um, comparing, comparing you. you with other people. Yeah, and the Bible says, Scripture says, they that compare themselves with others are not they are wise. wise. So it's foolishness. And comparison is a thief of joy. That's true. The, um, there can never be a room for excitement or for joy when you begin to compare your partner with someone else. That's true. Now, that doesn't mean that there are things you will not, you may not feel comfortable about yeah. your partner. You know, for example, my husband wished that I had big boobs, big mm. balls, but he never told me that. Mm. You know, in as much as in that way, oh, I wish my I wish my babe can just add a bit. Like you wish you know? that I was fair. Yeah, I wish that he Am was I fair lips, to be honest my lips was in wasn't red. black yeah but your yeah. lips doesn't, doesn't longer look yeah, black you've kissed it I've kissed it out so, I've kissed it out so, so <laughs> <laughs> you know that kind of thing so as much as he desired it you know he didn't have to say that or he always compliment you have to first of all accept what the, how the person yes. is you know so that the person can have an enabling environment of joy to be able to grow yeah. hard and do all that things you get so if for example your your babe you know it's okay to be feel uncomfortable if your babe doesn't have a good dress sense but when you say, can't you see how Maka is dressing? You have killed the person. Yeah. But you can also say, oh, my baby, there's a way you look. You, yeah. know? you know, I wish or you buy, can, or, or you can buy, you, buy gifts, you get you know, you, can, you, 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 you yes. buy the gift. For example, my wife those days, you ah, know, she my buys husband, me my suit. I'm you telling you, the way my husband was yeah, dressing. Yeah, there was some coat I was wearing those days, ah. you know. She wouldn't just come and laugh yes, at me. She just true. get a tailor, tell a tailor to mm -hmm. measure me. And mm -hmm. she gives me a suit as yes. a gift. And true. I wear it and she's so happy. Mm -hmm. You know, you make the person what you want the person to be true. rather than running the person down. down. That's true. So many a times, that's why a lot of people, they suffer from low self-esteem self yeah. in their true. relationship. And this is not, yeah, even to husbands, husbands yes, and wives, yes. it doesn't just end in relationship. Yes. Do you know there are some women 
who don't suffer insecurity, who don't have low self-esteem, mm. when they get into marriage, they begin to suffer from low self-esteem. Why? True. Because your choice of words, how you communicate, what you don't like mm. in your partner, it's yeah. very important. Even to the husbands, there are some husbands who are suffering from insecurity because of the things the wife has said. For mm. example, your husband is going out, and next thing you're saying is, look at the way you look. Don't mm. you see the way your other yes. mates look? look are, at you, are you not a man? Are you not a man? Those your, kind of your, words. Your mate can pay school You fees. get, yeah. You so, know, is it not your mate that has bought land? You are you yes, get. you are mm -hmm. still paying uh, rent in uh, this yes. thing. Are you not a man? Mm -hmm. You know, those words are not, uh, they are very heavy words and they can, can get on the, uh, some self-esteem. And True. so this leads us to the final part. How do you know if a person loves you? the person will accept your differences. Mm, true. You know, the truth is that as our hearts are different, different, so also is our faces, our personality. Mm -hmm. There are no two people that are alike. Even twins. Yes, are, are not alike. So mm -hmm. it's expedient that we accept people for who they are. Mm -hmm. The truth is that you can never get a person that is 100% perfect. Not at all. You know, a lot of people just say, any man who says, my wife is the perfect person for me. Mm -hmm. The person has come to accept his wife for true. who she is. True, true. You know, so don't go about following their words and say, ah, he got his wife and his wife was perfect. Yeah. And you are looking for the perfect person. Yeah. There's no perfect person anywhere. You mm -hmm. know, you bring perfection out of the imperfect um, nature you found in, in, your, in your spouse or the yeah. person you're in the relationship with. True. So, therefore... You truly love a person, the person is going to accept you. If you are short, he likes you for being short. If you are... If, if you're not you're, domestic... If you're not domestic, he likes mm -hmm. you for that. You know, he tries to cover up for you. Mm -hmm. um, it comes to the point where you have to accept that this person, you know, because, I mean, you can't afford to change someone... That's true. ...who has been, like, over 20-something years of his life or yes, her life. She has yes. been, been behaving in such... In a, kind of way you know you cannot just change the person so the first thing you do is to accept yeah. in fact accepting a personality enables you or empowers you to be able to you know um correct in a like in a nice way in a way you should oh, i'm speaking so much <laughs> <laughs> anyway acceptance gives create an, an, an a kind of enabling environment where you can where the other person is willing to grow yeah you know in his or her weakness but yeah. when you're always like criticizing you know comparing like we said before, you do not give the partner the enabling environment to actually grow. That's yeah. the truth. So, so um, Jesus showed us a perfect mm. love by loving us even while we we're yet sinners. You know, he accepted us. Mm -hmm. He accepted our differences. We're not like him. He decided to die for us despite the fact that we were not like him. Mm. That is a perfect love. Mm -hmm. You know, he died for us so that we can have his nature. Yeah. You know, so the truth is that true love lays down, mm -hmm. you know, it lays down your, true love lays down your ego, true love lays down what you call profession mm -hmm. to accept the person mm -hmm. for who the person is. Yes. Yeah, and also just to please, just to add to this, you know, um, accepting, you have to choose what you can accept That's as true. the truth. That's you true. Can, I, I won't for for I would never have married a man that beats me or insults me. That's true. So so that you don't say because somebody can just be watching and like and just take it and as just say, oh, oh, it's true. oh okay yeah. fine I can so, oh really they say I accept I can actually yeah, accept this person I, I can accept that the person that is beating me yes. or I can accept the person I can accept that, that, that uh, has been cheating on me yes, several. That's not, yes, what that's not what we're saying. But you need to choose your acceptance. That's the truth. If you need to know what you can accept as a yeah. person, and acceptance you know, has to do with your values. That's the truth. Yeah, that's your values. That's the truth. Yes. So you accept what you can tolerate. You accept what you can keep. And acceptance, you accept what you can live with. True. And acceptance also has to do with you accepting yourself. That's true. Because many times people are falling for victims, mm. you know, because they refuse to accept who they are. They refuse to accept what they can bring to the table. They refuse to accept themselves. They don't mm. see themselves as beautiful. Mm. They don't see themselves as handsome. They don't see themselves as valuable. They see themselves as an option, not a privilege. Yeah. And when you begin to see yourself as an option, the next thing that can happen, you know, because for me, my husband asking me out, loving me, I saw it as, I saw myself as a privilege to his life yeah. now when you have that mindset you'll be able to determine who you should accept the yeah. kind of because many people have just fall into anybody that's true because they have not accepted themselves they see themselves as an option not mm. a privilege yeah this person is privileged to be in love with me because that's i'm true. a privilege i'm a helper yeah. i mean a support system okay so let's run through it again yeah. how to know if a person loves you number one he or she creates time, time for, for you, you. The person who don't make your relationship it's secret. Secrets. The person accepts your differences. Mm -hmm. The person water your potential and the not weed it. The person water your potential and not weed it. 
the person will compliment you and not compare you the person will compliment or compete you with you or not and not um, compete with you mm. or compare you yeah so with these few points of ours mm. uh, i think you have a great time please drop your comments okay. you know drop your comments on the comment session mm -hmm. we're going to respond to you you have a question or you want to share your own opinion, mm. please do it to drop your comments. We'll respond to you. True. Yeah, so this is The Willows. Do have a great time. Okay. See you next week. Bye. Bye. The Willows. Yeah. <laughs>